Let's talk about nuts. Not like that. Just kidding, totally like that. It used to be a way more rude word. Body even, ribbled. Let me show you, and then there's a funny twist at the end. Made me laugh anyway. Nuts. You got the two most straightforward definitions. A hard-shelled fruit with an edible kernel. A piece of metal with a threaded hole for screwing bolts into. But it can also mean fond of. I'm nuts about linguistic factoids. Or crazy. You're nuts if you think people are gonna like a video about the word nuts. Or it can express ultra-mild disappointment. Nuts, I can't think of anything interesting to post about today. And then of course, it's slang for testicles. Interestingly, despite everybody knowing that last definition, the word in general isn't tainted. It's not like we have to suppress our inner Beavis and Butthead laugh when we walk past the pecans at the grocery store. Most of us anyway. My point is, we can usually hear the word in context and only think of the relevant definition. But that hasn't always been the case. Nuts meaning testicles came along in the early 1900s and apparently became so common over the next few decades that it bordered on taboo for a while. A 1950 New Yorker article reported, on the NBC network, it is forbidden to call any character a nut. You have to call him a screwball. And the filmmakers behind Behind a 1940 W.C. Fields movie received this feedback. Please eliminate the expression nuts to you. Obviously times have changed and nuts is not taboo anymore and even the slang usage is more quaint than vulgar. But here's the funny part. Guess what that W.C. Fields movie was called? That's right, they weren't allowed to use the phrase nuts to you in a movie called The Bank Dick. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Come along if you feel like it.